Hey guys, welcome to another, I guess, tutorial done by Diggity. Yeah, pure tutorial this time. I had a couple people ask me how to set up NetHack. NetHack is very, very, very easy to set up. If you just go to nethack.org, there's this big thing that says click here. And then just go down to the Downloads tab, click that. And it doesn't matter what system you have, there's a version of NetHack for you. There's the Windows one right there. Uh, you just click Start Download, it takes you to SourceForge, and it'll download it for you right off the bat and put it on your desktop or wherever you have your default download location set. Um, you will need to unzip it first, but once it's unzipped, it'll look something like this. I've actually already uh, unzipped one of these and I'll show you basically the, kind of the differences. You have NetHack, the standard NetHack, the original NetHack, I guess the pure form of NetHack, which people call, um, which is this right here, which is the ASCII version, which I don't like as much because uh, it's not as graphical and I don't know, I like even the baseline graphics. Get rid of that. And then you have NetHack W, which I think stands for NetHack Windowed, which is this, where it, you know you can see stuff. Anyway, um, close that. Do not save. Get rid of that file. Um, let me show you guys how to set your defaults as well. So you have this little thing that says defaults.nh. You will have to do an open with because it's .nh and NetHack will confuse your system in that regard just open it up with either notepad or textpad. You might have to browse for a program to do so. And it'll give you all these random commands. And what I suggest doing is opening up the guidebook and uh, read the manual otherwise for just kind of your basic commands, which is somewhere in here. Uh, that's actually also, I think it's also in the general net hack there. Where's commands? It's also, uh, this is kind of informative at large. So Steely Pips, it's a website that's kind of on this. But the key part of this is the map section 3.3 because it has this, it'll show you kind of all the different things that are in the dungeon and that's where you're going to set up your auto pickup to not just pick up everything and what I what you do is first of all you get rid of that little pound sign that's what kind of activates that I've already done that on my front options here so you can see I set my name to diggity1 uh, my role will always start as knight on this I will always start as a human, as male, and as lawful um, and I've my dogs will always be named Fido, my cats will be named Morris, and the fruits will be called Guava. And uh, I named my horse Zergling, if I get rid of that uh, right there. And the auto pickup, yeah, you just set to this, and it's kind of your preference. Um, I always have, I usually do spell books, gold, um, I ignore weapons and armor, because they're heavy oftentimes, scrolls, wands, rings and uh, potions, amulets, and gems. And I ignore useful items, because useful items I think includes treasure chests, which end up overburdening you when you pick them up. That's the other reason I like the graphical version instead, because instead of just seeing kind of the general things and having to learn what color means what, you can just kind of look at it and be like, oh, okay, that's this or that's that. Go from there. Um, this also has other helpful informa uh, and information. There can talk. I'm going to have another sip of wine after that little speech bumble. Mm. Ah, kosher wine. Yes, that's right. Kosher wine. Um, happy Easter, everybody. But uh, <laughs> I'm sure someone's going to be watching this way past Easter and they're going to be like, Arr. anyway, and it also gives all the general commands otherwise. And uh, yeah, like right here, command uh, control will kind of, that's what this little tab thing is. Um, or you can just, you know, capitalize things and otherwise. There is different information. Most of these, the, it's a little bit unwieldy at first because you kind of have to learn things like lowercase t is throw, uppercase t is take off armor, where uppercase r is to, like, remove rings and amulets and things. But you get used to it, and it's all pretty sensical, and you, you actually pick on after, pick up on it, I should say, after not too long. And, uh, yeah, otherwise that's basically it. Then you save this. And lo and behold, when you open up NetHack windowed, it will uh, load everything for you. See, it goes diggity, night, human, male, lawful. And my auto pickup should be set. And I'm going to be displacing Zergling now, right there. Um, and I'll try to give general tips otherwise. But as far as just the flat commands, that's what I suggest doing. That's how you download NetHack. And uh, there you can see auto pickup at work. You can turn that off and on by Shift F2. Again, for all the commands, you can check there. Or I think... Yeah, if you just hit shift question mark, or shift and uh, hit question mark, it'll give you this kind of help window that you can select uh, here. And that's basically the same command thing that'll give you all the different commands. Like Z is zap a wand, capital Z is cast a spell, 
um, things like that. And it'll also give you kind of helpful tips. So it's one of those games where it's helpful to read the manual. Also, if you engrave Elberith, Elberith, um, and you stand on top of it, let's see, make sure it's still there. Yeah, monsters will flee from you, and that will work. Um, there's kind of caveats on that. It does take time to engrave that. It also doesn't, uh, there, there's, yeah, other caveats, like it goes away after time because the idea is, is that you're trying to stand still in the spot and you're kind of rubbing it out of the, the dirt because you're rubbing it in the dirt with your hand. Certain items leave Elberith better, others don't. But any, anyway, in the meantime, I'm going to go back to do actual net hat commentary with the knight and just kind of chat and you guys can enjoy and uh, maybe I'll use this night. Actually, I'll probably go to my other NetHack setup uh, since it's old and reliable. Maybe I'll name my horse Zergling at that stage. Actually, I'll name him Ultralisk to make him extra powerful. So I hope you guys understand how to do all the NetHack stuff. If you have any other questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try to get to it. Thanks for listening.